Welcome everyone to an arena video. This is Andrea Melucci. This video is sponsored to you by channelfarball.com and Ultimate Guard. Wow, this puck's bad. Gotta take over Gruntoom, unfortunately. Okay, I'll, I'll reserve the pick and then I have to tweet on Twitter. The tweeter. And Instagram is. Are you planning on streaming the Vintage EOQ? I am. I am. I I usually don't love to stream Magic Online, but I'll. Uh, but I will. I will this time because I believe that uh, I don't have that many. Yes. All right. Arena Cube live now. Okay, remember why this pick is bad. I mean, it are allowed to just first pick an overgrown tomb, but I prefer something better. At least a triome. Okay. Let's go, what's next? This is Wrath of God. Wrath of God is uh, really one of the best card in these control decks. Once upon a time, which can go get Field of the Dead. This is an easy, this is an easy Wrath of God though. Everything else doesn't come close to it. What do you think are good decks in this format? Blue, green, XX. Uh, the rest doesn't even, yeah. All right, so there's two good green cards. It's Paradise Druid and Wolf Willow Haven. I'm going to take in Data Triumph, though. Uh, this is also white for my Breath of God. I wouldn't blame anybody from taking Paradise Druid here, though. I think it's better than Wolf Willow Haven. It is maybe a right pick, although with Breath of God, I guess you don't love to have a Paradise Druid. It's there, though. It's, it's similar. Okay, um, Valorous Stance has actually been a card that I've been super impressed with. For two mana, you can just often destroy a creature, and this can also be like a versatile combat trick. This card is, this card is wrong. Take Watery Grave though. I, I'll always be blue. Whenever, whenever I draft in cube, I'm always, I'm always blue. I don't, I don't, I don't really care. I think like blue is best. Okay, both Erebus' Intervention and the Mythos of Nethroi are a solid card to have, especially this one. This one in late game could be really just like a huge uh, life gain boost, as well as, you know, killing things, so it's pretty good. But of course, we're taking Zaga Trium, one of the best land in the cube. Have you seen the new Solesnia Saga? I haven't. I'll check that out later. <clears throat> uh, okay, Incubation Druid is my pick here. I love this, this mana elf, and this one is, it actually gives colored mana, which is very important. Uh, Bloomy Marsh, I'm not, a, I really hate the Kaladesh lands. I mean, of course, they are fine, but, you know, my games tend to go, like, super late, so. And if you like, you, it's pretty nonbo to play, like, mana elves with Breath of God. Sure it is, but you don't, you don't, you don't really play, like, elf. Wrath of God next turn, right? You just set up a turn where you do this thing. What's the best landing cube? I mean, other than Field of the Dead, I love Zaga Trium because I'm always like Soul Tie based. Soul Tie is like the best elements of control is Soul Tie. Kogla is like a big ape. Brrr. I'm not sure if Pyro should take. Actually, I really don't love to take six, six drop early. I don't love to. You can play on your card. Yeah, I don't know. Like six drops are always replaceable. You always find some six drop to, to, to play. There's no need to pick at seventh pick. You want to take six drop like, I don't know, twelfth pick. Like unless they have like Sublime Epiphany, or yeah, it's basically just that. It's just Sublime Epiphany probably. The only thing I'm I'm I'm, I'm picking early. Basically, I just take a land and uh, then eventually because you don't. It's not Supreme Draft. You you will you will wheel this pack. I, I'm not sorry for picking this quick. Yeah, I guess. Breakfast cube again. Hello, Mad Moses. Throne. 
What's throne? Throne of a drain? So, um, if you guys want to know more about Arena Cube, I'm, I'm, I always try to answer your questions all the time. But if you want to listen to like some, some actual podcast about uh, how to like play Arena Cube well, there's Limited Resource last episode and the Lords of Limited episode. You can check that on uh, CFB Podcast the page. There's like all the CFB podcasts. And I've listened to both of these episodes. And uh, yeah. I love I love listening to podcasts. This is like one of my favorite thing to practice the language and just keep me company. I I I usually just like walk and do things like that. So like listening to podcasts is refreshing. I don't love Ratchet Bomb. I guess we're playing best of three. So I guess you know what this figure this figure is like. It's like basically a Fatal Push. Before Fatal Push, this figure used to be used to be a legacy playable. Unfortunately, Philath is unplayable in my deck because this card says uh, uh, each basic land you control. I'm not gonna play any basic. I think it'd be our takedown. Whatever. If we get like Field of the Dead, this might be a planes. I'm, I don't love the spell lands though. I do tend to play 19 lands in this deck. So, you know, playing spell lands helps, but this one isn't good at all in my decks usually. It can do like one or two damage. I try to take Grave Broker Lamia. Platinum Angel is just a very big filler. It costs seven mana. Seven mana is so much. And Grave Broker Lamia is good if you get um, Umbrella Rights. I always love to pick up a Lamia. Usually you pick up like super late. And if you get if you get Umbrella Rights, it's actually a very big deal. Well, we wield Wolfilo Haven. Very good. I love Wolfilo Haven. I guess this is another card that I always get. Because again, this is my way of drafting. I get all the lands and then I play with whatever is left. And it's usually like good enough. These decks are always like Sultai based. Sultai based, splashing white for something, splashing red for something. That's 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 the thing. I haven't seen anything blue yet, but you know, you'll eventually get something like broken blue card. Like there's just so many good blue cards that you just can't. It just it's like in Vintage Cube, you can't not play blue. Like, maybe you can, maybe, if you like a very good, like, Boris Armageddon deck. But, you know, or, uh, I don't know, like, a Mono Black Reanimator. This is very rare that you don't play blue, just because there's so many good blue cards. Especially in my, especially in my cube. I'll play Will for the sideboard. Feeling we're familiar is not a card. It's not a card. You play it and nothing happens. It's... So bad. This card is so bad. Really, chat. Ne never put this. In. It's rather play it with the twentieth land. It's it's impossible to come that short on playables to play that filigree familiar. Don't put blue cards in the cube. No, why? The wrong alpha of simulacrum. Yeah, right. No, but like it's insane how bad it is. You pay three mana, you get you get you get so so little things. You get so few things for three mana. Madonna mia, che cazzo è? Ninety white fox. Uh, uh sometimes jealous of the bot draft, but 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 also, you know, chat. I, I was one of the lover of bot draft. I do love to just draft in a minute. What are the best blues? Best blue cards, you mean? Oh, um, this is actually not the worst. We're playing best of three, so we can sideboard this in. And there's matchups where it goes very late. The, the game goes very long, and like milling can actually end up being a thing. Especially with... Uh, especially with... Uh, if you have also the other one that mills, what's it called? Um... Uh, the one the con cost five mana. It's an enchantment. All right, new boosty, new boosty pack. All right, this is an easy Mythos of Iluna. Mythos of Iluna is one of those cards that uh, just reward you for having taken so many lands. A Thief of Sight is not a great one, but you know, yeah, I mean it's great that if you don't, they don't have an answer, you probably win, but. Card that I want to be wheeling are Explore, 
Commit to memory. People never love commit to memory. I always, I always wield this one. I might also wield Mythos of Iluna, but the thing is that... I just don't want to risk to wield this. Lobster Fest. That's a pretty weird emote. But thank you for the fourth month. Welcome, welcome to the stream. As we play the classic Mango Green Pile. Over Thief? Yeah, I'm not a big fan of 3 mana 2-2-2 two, two, two past the turn. Alright, Cloud Laser. Speaking of 2-2 th two, two Flyer, this one is much better. You're testing your 2020 deck? Yeah, love it. I'm sure your deck does seem very good. My deck is just uh, more for fun, I guess. I've never built a commander deck. I just went to play like expensive cards in ramp spell. Alright, which is actually the way I cube, basically. Um, I kind of want if Sphinx to wheel as well. You love Commit a Memory. Yeah, Commit a Memory is like a counter. And uh, there's games where you just ramp a lot and you find yourself at like six mana. Your opponent has like four or five cards in your hand and you have none and you just want to commit. At that point, your opponent is like if you gain like two or three cards. Sure, your opponent will get a new hand. But you will also, and you ended up yours. Are there any infinite combos in this cube? Uh, there's dual caster mage. What about this? I mean, that's a more common thing. The big, the bigger bandit. I, I, that's like that's like a thing, you know. We that's like a real thing. The the other aim was from Lobster Fest. I don't even know what is it. Is it like? A Christmas elf? I don't, I don't know, it's strange. I put, I put, so uh, Gnips627 uh, has made this like event where you can build a command, where you have to build a commander deck, but only put cards that were printed or reprinted in the, in the 2020 year. And I found two combos, chat. I found two combos. Hello, sidetrack. One combo is with Kikijiki that was reprinted in Mystery Booster and uh, a pirate from uh, a pirate from uh, um, Commander Legends. You basically just, just, just untap Kikijiki and go off. So that's the first combo. It's pretty good. All right, one sec. Yeah, there's Ember Clara, Roberto, Roberto, and Torban. That's a lot of good things. Taking the irrigator farmland, I have Cold Blazer, Wrath of God. This is an easy irrigator farmland. I don't love Evolving Wilds. Maybe Fable Passage is fine, but Evolving Wilds is just not that good. What Pirate? I don't know the name. It's a 5 mana 4 3 that when it comes into play, you just untap a permanent and you can just untap Kiki Jiki. It... This just plus is bad? It's not that it's bad. It's just I'm not a card that takes second pick. Let's, if it wheels, I will pick it up. Alright, um, so there's another thing to consider. Whenever there's like these many dual lands like this, you can't play a spell and hope to wheel one of these three. Alright, so this is a pick where you have to keep in mind, okay, I'm probably going to wheel one of these three lands, so I will pick something else. Alright, what do we take? There's Glasspool Mimic, which is, uh, which is a very powerful card, plus it's a land, which I always love. Um, it doesn't copy anything strong right now, there's a like Club Blazer, but along the way you can copy like Thrag Tusk or like super good things. Or there's a, a very safe Elysian Carroted. I already have Incubation Druid and Wolf Wheel Haven with my Wheel Explorer, so I think I'm taking the Mimic here. And yeah, just hoping to wheel one of those three lands. I'm not a big fan of the Miserable no, 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 yeah, Gnip, there's Bounding Crazes, but there's also the Pirate, the 5 mana Pirate, the 4-3 5 mana Pirate, from Commander Legends. Uh, okay, new pack. Oh, uh, I don't love Niv Mizzet, plus like always wheels every time. I'll take the Fibulethub. I don't even see any other consideration here. Oh, yo, ciao, Alfred, buongiorno. No, I don't take this card. This card, I would hate this card. I don't just really dislike this card. 
Shall I, you guys like? That's eh, fine. I'll just take Fibula Thub. Good old Elvish Visionary. Gaunt is a very powerful card indeed, yeah. yeah what, what's it called, that pirate? I'll, I'll, I'll find it for you now. One sec. It's called. Da, 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 da. Yeah, this, this, this is this is my list that I built yesterday. It's called Coercive Recruiter. This Coercive Recruiter says uh, when when it or another pirate enters the battlefield, you gain control of target creature until the turn you untap that creature. So you just gain control of your Kikijiki and tap it, and you make a copy of this again, and you just go off. That is the that is the combo. All right, new pack. Not a big fan of search for Ascanta. But in this pack, there is really nothing for me. I'm not. I don't. I guess Dusky Boy is like similar to Fibulathub. Why don't I like Shalai? Uh, because it's uh, as of, as often I I I refer to these cards as you cast them and nothing happens. I don't want to play cards that you cast them and nothing happens. That's just kind of my motto. It's fine. You might just. It's just a different ways to approach the the the, the game, in my opinion. If you refrain yourself from cast from playing cards that you cast them and nothing happens, you'll find yourself on average having more cards in hand than your opponent. Sure, you might die with lots of cards in hand some games. I play B1 or B3. I only, I only play B3, Alfred. Okay, w w Warrant Warden is another cool card. I, I always love to play this. It's like, uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, Azor's Charm or Sarah Angel. It's not the worst. And this pack, there's nothing. I l really don't love this land. Uh, I'll play it. So far, I don't have any fixing for red. So my Mythos of Iluna needs some more fixing. This deck is basically what I did yesterday. It was like similar to this. All right, this is my opening pack. Irish, nothing wheel that I wanted. I explored it a wheel, and I'm sure there was a land that I wanted. I need a wheel of that either. All right, Needle Verge Pathway will be fine, though. I prefer much more this than Inspiring Vantage. Because you think it's shorter or why? I just love to play best of three better than best of one. That's answer. Hey, I'll take you first your row on games. This card is not bad. Especially if you have like a one a two drop, like an elf or something. Again, like this is type of like filler that you just play and you know, it's fine. It's it's not you're not gonna be that excited, but when this card works and you get a four four and draw a card, it's gonna be cool. Or two cards, sorry. Would it be playable? Yeah, it would be playable. Pick up Vraska. All the Planeswalkers in this cube aren't powerful at all, but they're fine. I mean, again, this is like territory, like wheel territory. You get Vraska, you get first your own games, and you just you just play whatever you get at this point. Yeah. Botanical Sanctum. This was the pack with like all the lands, all the cool lands, and uh, yeah, I'm happy to have actually wheeled this one up among the bunch. I'll take Folio for Alfred. You can sideboard it in. Folio Fancies. Could be like a powerful engine against control decks, but I really don't love it. You need fuel to soccer, right? Yeah, it's just a expensive uh it's an expensive uh what's it called? Uh it's an expensive removal spell. It costs four it's like it's like an expensive eliminate that in late game you can like I don't know, sacrifice the treasure token and like oh I mean you can do something. Okay, new pack. Uh, what do I got? What do I get here? All right, there's a perch of the second sun, and I love this card. Thoughts is also fine, but w whatever. Thoughts is is uh, yeah, it's it's good cheap interaction. I guess I'm taking thoughtsies here. I'm for sure black. Do I have a? I think I have a good mana base for black too, because I have another Triumph Zagoth. Golden Cemetery River. Yeah, I have a good mana base for black. I'm taking thoughtsies here. Um, kind of hoping, really hoping to wheel approach, although I might think it's not going to. Runless is great. Yeah, but not in my deck. Runless is great if you have creatures, which is a thing that I think green doesn't want to do. In this, in this cube, at least. Okay. 
uh, inscription of bonus this card has been amazing for me. I'm not gonna take it here because usually wheels, but if it wheels, I'll love to take it. All right, as mine still is an easy pick. I love to ramp and draw, you know, this is basically like an explorer. Uh, the Donny to hit land drops, Maze Mine Tome, Temple of Deceit, Command the Dreadward. Yeah, kind of hoping actually to wheel. There's just a lot of cards I'm hoping to wheel. I just take mine still because it's uh, better than lots of these, but uh, yeah. Let's see what I'll be wheeling here. This draft has been so slow, it's crazy. Cultivate is strong. Escape uh, Polukanos is strong. I'm taking a Solemn Simulacrum though. I believe this card to be incredibly powerful. It's a body, it picks up a land, it draws a card, it really does it all. It's just so good. Hoping to wheel Cultivate or Polukranos or this allow. I might play this allow. I don't know. I can even play Fairground Wardens. It's not that good, but. Fine. All right, wow, this puck's awful. It doesn't have anything for me. It's like Rex A. Chainer's Addict. All cards that I can easily wheel. No Priest of Ob Oblivion too. I'm just taking the Corn Sealed Courtyard because I don't, really, I don't really mind about any of these cards. Whatever whatever I wheel of this three, I'll probably put in my deck. If I don't wheel anything of this deck, I'll, I won't cry because these are all like replacement level effect. Hey, glue, 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 glue. I'm on 16 playable, so I need like five or six more. Oh wow, fine finality. Nice. Love this card. Very good for both as a sweeper and as a card advantage play. What card am I looking for now? Kinda always Field of the Dead. Field of the Dead is always the card I'm looking for. Golos as well. I was draft uh, expecting to get Field of the Dead or Golos. That's just kind of like the thing. Reclamation Sage is good in cube. It's fine. I have a wilt if I really need to. I picked up a wilt along the way. I picked up. I mean, Cyber does a bunch of playables if I really end up short. But I mean, in, in cube, you never end up short. It's just impossible. Even if you take like 20 lands, you always find things to put into that. Because like every card is playable. It's not like it's a. You know, Zendika Rising Draft, where there's actually like empty sleeves, you know? <sighs> mm. Same things as always, chat. There's nothing exciting. I'll pick up a land. White Green Land is actually very important. I have Breath of God in my deck and lots of green, so. Eidron Archive could be good, although I don't even have any expensive card to play with. Taking land. All right, this is now my last pick of the of the draft, or my last pack that I haven't ever seen on the draft. So this pick eight is gonna be the pack where I can see if there's a field of the dead or not, and the answer is not. There isn't a field of the dead, unfortunately. Up goes Faroa's gift. It's okay. I don't have that many creatures, but yeah, hopefully it'll be okay. I don't really need all the, the, the red land because I, yeah, I don't play red. It's only Mythos of Iluna. All right, Command the Dreadword. This card wield. I love to play with this card. This is my show, maybe my first time playing with the Command the Dreadword. Love to play Command the Dreadword. Let's see if there is a, a, a approach to a second sign here. Uh, Morphless, you mean counter drafting. So counter drafting uh, isn't a thing on Arena uh, or on Magic Online because you don't play against the people in your pod, okay? You only play you play against the world. So counter drafting isn't uh, good on these digital platforms because you aren't playing pod. You aren't playing against the seventh player. You're playing against the world, okay? Uh, whereas uh, like the PT, yes, and the PT, I have counter drafting a lot. Especially if I know what my opponent, what my what the players next to me is drafting, then you do counter draft. But generally speaking, you just should shouldn't do that. 
Yeah, whenever I take like there's like an uncommon for the vault or stuff like that. Alright, God Eternal Bantu, it's not a good card, but it's just a dude that I might need in my deck. Alright, we we could be struggling with winning games. Not that like you necessarily need ways to win games. I guess Command Dreader and then Ghost for Ross gifts are very good for it, so it's fine. I don't really have any any red. I have like a strong uh, mill plan here actually. With uh, Ruin Crab, Merfolk Secret Keeper, Foil Fences, and Teferi's Tutelage. Bantu combos with Tutelage? Why would this Bantu do? Is it sacrifice? Oh wow, it does! <laughs> I oh wow! I hate to very stupid. I think it's such a bad card, but it does combo with Bantu. You just sacrifice your whole board, and then your opponent mills the whole deck. We lack in win condition. We don't. We don't lack in win condition. You never lack in playables or win condition. That's just two things you don't lack. The only things you lack on when you play cube is mana fixing. That's the only thing you lack on. Oh, but yeah, that's a sweet combo. Hello, let me, let me... I hate, I hate full fans. I'm not gonna play this card. Oh, 23, I have to cut... Actually, I can not, not cut anything here. It's not the best combo ever. I mean, it's not, but sure. It, it, it'll, it'll be good enough here, right? I think it'll be good enough. Yeah, we are on uh, 21 uh, playable 19 lands, if you count these two as lands. And I always want to play 19 lands. If you're a takedown, I'm not gonna play it, I think. I guess I could. I could play if you're a takedown. GPG and Plaga Prediction. Uh, Plaga Prediction is great. It's not super overwhelming at all. I love to play cards like this. It's a land or a spell that's like actually good. Whereas if you're a takedown, it's, it's not a good good spell. So I don't love it. But I will definitely uh, play the Fairy Studio Lich Bond 2 combo. That, that'll be fun. All right, we can't even sideboard the, the meal plan, the Ruin Craft, Volume Fences, Murphy Secret Keeper, but... Not enough creatures for gift? Mm, how many do I have? Seven. Nah, that's fine. And like, pl plus, it's like all creatures that usually dies, like Solemn Simulacrum always die, People that always dies, Incubation Droid and always dies. All right, uh, the question is, do I want to play Grave Berkalamia? I don't think it makes any sense in my deck, unfortunately. I do have Command Dreader, but I don't think this card makes any sense in my deck, so I have to cut it. This card is like here only for the, um, shows you only for like if I get Umbera right, which I didn't get. Mm, could probably play Wilt. Yeah, all right. So, um, one second. What are, what are my ways of producing Red for Mythos of Luna. Hmm, I think I will have to play in Inspiring Vantage. Despite, of course, you really hate to do that. It's just this, but like this card usually will be played as a planes. So like along the way, you don't have red sources. So yeah, I guess I have to play Inspiring Vantage. Uh, yeah, let's figure out the mana base. I kind of want to find like a uh, 998. Let's see. Let's see, starting with green, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, there is like two forests. What about black? I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 2 slash 3, what about blue? 1, 2, 3. Alright, so I need, I need a lot of blue actually. Okay. I don't want to play a Kumu Warrior, I don't want to play a Kibir Take Down, so that's five lands left. I'll try to do like... Uh, maybe I just... it's less blue. No, sorry. Hmm. It's like two... that's black. Two, two, one. Uno, two, one, two, three. Seis, sete. I don't want to play nine forests. What about black? Three. Okay, let's do 
There's also glass when we make ample like a predation. So I'll do like two blue, two green, and one black. And then we recount the mana. So green has uno, due, tre, quattro, cinque, sei, sette, otto, nove. Okay, nine green, perfect. Black has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's fine. Blue has uno, due, tre, quattro, sei, seven. Yeah, blue is kind of low, but I don't necessarily need blue on turn two. I guess I do a few bit of end search. Such is not necessarily two drop. Yeah. Okay, let's go with this. Green pile number 15. Uh, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll put Simulacrum here because I love it. Of course, this deck doesn't have either Golos or Feebly Dead, so it'll be tough to win games with decks that are lacking those cards. But uh, try, we try our best, as always. As always, we try our best. It's, it's always like a new experience. You, you don't get the same experience. At least the way I draft, I always try to like, I always like different decks. Like they're always kind of the same, but like always different. And that's why I love cube. Like let's say after a, after like two months of standard or like one month of standard, it gets boring. But cube never gets boring because you always have like new things going on. Like bond two plus tutelage, you know, it isn't really a thing, but you make it be. All right, I'll just play this Eureka Farmland. I could cycle it, but I don't want to right now. Sometimes I draft Mono Red. You know, yesterday I did. Those guys fear of losing? Yeah, sorry. Yeah, it's not. It's definitely not an easy cube. Thankfully, our opponent's not, not doing anything, which will be pretty convenient here. Are they cycling Sensor? Yes, I am. Uh, G Garlic. Uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow I'll be streaming. Plus today, I thought today was uh, the 24th. But my father told me it's actually the 23rd. But I will be streaming on Christmas morning as well. I don't have any, I don't have much to do Christmas morning anyway, so I'll be streaming that. The 26th though, I might stream, but I'll be uh, going a little bit earlier because, uh, yeah, I think I have to do something the 26th morning. Yeah, I'll be streaming Magic Online too, because uh, again, it's just it's just a cube. Uh, this December will be just cube. Uh, December, January, late December, December, uh, early, late January will just be that. The birth of Pepega, Avabine. I think my opponent has sensor chat because they have like that that like stop. So I'll probably just pass. Let's see what I draw. Ooh, Palaka Predation. Yeah, it'll be it'll be convenient here. Oh, I'll play Palaka Predation. I'm playing around Sensor, I think they have Sensor. 27? Hey, hey, maybe not, Alfred. No, 27, I think it's Sunday. Oh, wow, Spell Beer is cool. Your turn. And next time I'll play Cloud Blazer with the land up. Are they cycling Sensor? They are. Always knew it, opponent. Always knew it. How do you play around counters? By. Yeah, kind of like doing what I did. You just try with that. It's just, I don't know, they kept, they kept mana up in a mysterious way. Like, they reached four mana to play Birth of Miletus. That kind of made me think that Sensor. Uh, five mana, so they can't have Gear Oak. So I'm just jamming Cold Blazer and then playing a top land. Good, Charlie. Good, good. Happy birthday. Trade well and they exactly yeah days definitely trades well. Order well I was going to play a top land anyway. Frame well okay. Mm -mm -mm. us five cards we have four. Uh, next turn I'll probably try and play gone bond two maybe like suck a land or whatever. I don't necessarily have to suck multiple things. Ooh a lot of waker of the waves. I love to, to pick up this card. When is approach? Yeah, the approach is a good card. Wish I had an approach. There is you don't play land first. It's a shock land. I don't want to take two damage. To play around a spell pierce that I don't know it's in their deck. 
Ooh, Mangara. Although, let's read this card, because it has a million lines. Whenever an opponent attacks with creatures, if two or more attackings, you draw a card. Whenever an opponent casts a second spell, you draw a card. Okay. Okay. Oh, I got that. Let's play um, Bond 2, leaving up 2 mana for Find. And I guess I'm sacrificing one land only. And if the counter does, I'll bring I'll bring them both back. Hmm. I'll sacrifice just like one land. I, I don't want to go two behind the lands. Maybe I should sacrifice two actually. Should I sacrifice one or two lands here? Yeah, I'll suck two. I'm going behind the mana lot. But I'm also okay. I'll cycle this on the turn. But I'm also um, playing as a control deck, so I do not think that you necessarily want to do that. Plus, I don't have to do that in my deck. I don't necessarily need to hit all these land drops. I wouldn't have played a second spell anyway because they have Mangara the Diplomat. But I, I, I'm not lying. I didn't play around drawing a Thought Erasure. Okay, I weren't good. Um, I'm attacking here with this bond too. No, I guess I'll play this first because they have a shark typhoon. I love this Mangara. Mangara is a, a strong card. It is really. It doesn't feel like it's that strong, but it is. Allora, uh, swift response and seal away. Hieroglyphic elimination and inscription of the insight. This card is very good in this moment, so I'll just discard that. Search for its Kanta. Yeah, I'll uh, leave this on top and pass here. They have two cards that if I tap my things, will <laughs> will be. Yeah, so I have to pass here because I don't want to play a second creature. A second spell. They, they draw a card if you play a second spell. Mm. It's going to be it's gonna be a long game. Definitely. It's going to definitely be a long game. And already, my combo plan of Bond 2 plus the Fairy Tutelage is already done. Alright, I'll play this. Description was bad? Yeah, it's in general, it's not very good, but in control matchup, when you're putting in 7 lands, it's, it's good. You have to think about that, like, card evaluation changes a lot based on, like, matchups and the spots. Why not attack Bond 2? They could exile it with Seal Away. Uh, yeah, let's take the... Do I want to draw this again? I actually forgot that Bantu had this ability. I, I didn't think about it. Uh, yeah, I mean, pretty easily. I, I totally forgot that this card had that ability. I thought it was just like a 5 mana 5 6 dude now. But no, it's it's a god. Our opponent now will attack me for 2. Uh, do I want to worry that? Yeah, I probably do. But I can cast multiple spells in my turn. I I can't. I don't think I've played it with any god uh, from Word of Spark in this cube yet. Too many words indeed. Look how many words this card has, and look how many words this card has. All right, let's put that on top. This match is gonna be long. Allora, a passire, upgrade or whatever. I'll flip this Ascanta. And there's a Bantu on top. It's not bad, but also I don't really want to just get rid of it with the uh, Yes Kanta. Yes, I will. Mangara's coming back. Hmm. E I think I'm passing here. I could go. No, I just I just just pass in here. This is what you're doing on the search. No, it's a legendary land. I'm just yeah, I'll pass. Or maybe I just use this mythos now. I'll use this mythos now. Well, oh, this is a scanta now. I'm not really looking to play another another bond. I guess. Yeah, I think I'm losing. I'm losing the bond too now. Let's see what I find. I 
I don't mind drawing the bond to now I kinda am looking for that Teferis tutelage. It's not, that that bond tool isn't that good, I think. Because now with that with that scant around, I'm looking to just use a lot of my mana. So I don't want to sacrifice any of more of my lands. Older when I cast Bond 2, I wanted to sacrifice my lands. Nebraska doesn't do anything right now. The first tutelage mind snow. Yeah, I think I'll take the first tutelage. This matchup looks like a matchup where the first tutelage could be irrelevant. Clint has played already enough, enough, enough counters. Actually, I should probably write them down for next game. This is best of three. We play Spell Pierce, Sensor, Supreme Will. Good. Okay. I have to discard a card. What will be? Probably just a Simulacrum so I can get it back with Find. Together with the Cloud Blazer that I wanted to reanimate a bunch. Stopping up for us content? No, why? Oh, Khmer, I forgot. Oh, I was playing around so tight. This is the manga the whole time, and then I just did the other thing with the, the notepad and forgot. <laughs> All right, I'll pass the turn. Yeah, we can meet us the tutelage, yeah. It's more mill. No, drawing cards is not milling, it's drawing cards. <laughs> Draw a card, you mill two. I think I want to. I think I have to show you, did she? I think I want to mythos the uh, the fairy tutelage, and then I'm hoping they don't uh, exile this in response because that would be a disaster. They already used the cast out. I don't even think there's that many ways you can get rid of a the fairy tutelage. Yeah, exactly, Tiga. That's not full Papango emote. It's a full Papango emote. Maybe I didn't need to make this play. But I'm Epiphany. You counter a spell, you make a copy of a, a wall, and you draw a card. What be it? Um, do I want to play Cloak Blazer here? It's bad if they counter this. If they draw a card and they can. I guess. I guess. I guess I have to. I guess I, I'll just let them draw cards here. They have only three mana up. If they have another counter, they've already played a lot of them. I'll let them draw a card with Mangara, but this resolve is great because now you'll be a four, so you go to, to very few cards in your deck. Returning Tutelage to hand. I guess I'll put in didn't want me to draw an extra card with Tutelage because I just cast the Tutelage and mill them for more. Water cycling more. So you go to five cards in their deck. The way they can play around this is if they have Commit to Memory because Commit to Memory shuffles your deck. This allow in GY, okay, I'll write that down, thanks a lot. So when people end this allow. So opponent has four cards in the deck. Again, commit to memory is the card I'm looking for, I guess. They play Yorin instead. Oh, they can't exile cast out. But they only have four cards, still. Let me look at the graveyards for this command to dread word. Oh, they have Esper Conqueror's death as well. Uh, they have no creatures or planeswalkers. Who want to block this? Mm. No, no blocks. They have a seven-seven. Yeah. Oh wow. What did they? Oh yeah. Cast out still needs to be needs to be played. The fairy master of time doesn't seem that great right now. <laughs> okay. Bro. This rest is really bad. Uh, what's left in my deck? I have a wilt somewhere. Where's the wilt? My graveyard. How did it get there? Oh. Thoughtseize. There's uh, Glass Pool Mimic, Wrath of God. There's Wrath of God. It would be good. Oh, God for us gift as well. Mm. I think I want to get Wrath of God. I think I'm just using this as Kanta. Uh, Spetanatum. Wrath of God is actually not the best because they can just blink. The creature with the fairy. I discarded it. How did I discard a card in this? But I don't know what to do. Uh, 
Dive a bit. Let's just take a look at the at Kanta. Let's see what I find. We have double white for Wrath. Okay, there's a Wrath. I think I will Wrath here. I'll let him draw an extra card with the Mangara. But that's okay. Or maybe I should just keep... Yeah, I think I'll Wrath. I don't know what my opponent Wincon has. Maybe they have Approach of the Second Sun and then I just lose. Oh, wow, they do have it. So their approach is now here, and they'll get to draw it soon. I'm gonna play around that somehow. Mm, I don't think I can. Whenever a opponent has a second spell, you just turn to draw a card. Hmm. Uh, da -da -da. Let me just take a look at my deck again. I need to I need to kill this cast out, but I don't think I can. Right? I don't think I can. Look at my graveyard. There's Cloud Blazer. Yeah. Look at my opponent's graveyard. I think I have a one line. I think I have one line of just attacking them. I don't know. One thing on the so no that we set the city chi. Come cuz they die. And then I'll um I'll play just a creature and pass. All right, my line, it's almost impossible, but my line is to, oh, my opponent plays to spell in one turn and dies off Mangara from back in, because they have three cards in the deck. I know it's almost impossible, but that could happen. It's not going to happen, but maybe. Maybe, like, let's say they play an extra spell now before playing Approach. Who knows? All right, I didn't. No, okay. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll play the opponent. We got, we got kind of unlucky that we didn't mill that Approach. It's okay. It's kind of like the mill strategy you mill and then you just lose somehow after milling. That's kind of how it goes. Alright, I'll bring in the crab and the folio fences in this matchup. I'll board out Wrath of God and I'll board out, uh, what else? Some creatures. Some removal spell like this figure. Yeah, this is okay. Oh yeah, Vraska's also bad. I'm going to go to the bathroom super fast. Come back and we play some more. Probably the Mirror of Secret. See you guys in a second. I think I choose to draw first. I think I choose to draw first. I still didn't remember. How did I... How did I... end up discarding that wilt? I really have no memories of it. Wow, Alfred, good, good, really good work of art. Atskanta, oh, I see. Yeah, then they are costing, indeed. All right, I'll need you for four. I guess I wanted to flip the Atskanta there. I actually wish I've played this earlier now. I think I'm going to Merfolk Secret Keeper first. Because I don't want to cast the Rowan games with no creatures on board. Because it's so bad if they kill the creature. I'm not going to um, cycle the will this time.
Mm, I'll play your role on games. And if they have spell pierce on this, okay. Create a human. And I'll pass. Playing around sensor now. Opponent plays sensor disallow, sublime epiphany, supreme will, spell pierce. All right, you pass. Um, uh, three counters on this one. This is four power, right? Yeah. So I'll put three counters on this. Then I'll play land simulacrum, keeping on playing around uh that sensor. Okay, and I'll pass the turn. No attacks because that could have the destroy target top creature. Do want to draw two cards off of the soldier first, and then I can attack. And then at that point, I don't mind it. Oh, cool! Now they can like draw this card and then phase out this human soldier, so they don't draw cards. Love the fury. The fury master of time is definitely a good card. Uh, okay, resolves. I'll play thought seize. A bunch of very good cards in my opponent's pile. I think I'm discarding... Uh, it's either Approach... Or it's Sublime Epiphany. But that is very weak to Approach. Whereas I could eventually beat the Sublime Epiphany. I think I am discarding the Approach. And I think I'll play Sarah Angel. Pass the turn. Okay. They play you're in the sky nomad. Interesting. They blink to fairy. I'll create a gold token. Um I think I'm cycling this world. I need to find uh, some something. I do not. And then I'll pass the turn. It's gonna be very difficult now because my opponent will have Sublime Epiphany up. As well as that the Fairy Master of Time will, you know, craft their game. So this game looks like to be over, unfortunately. Which is reasonable. I mean, I didn't really cast that many spells this turn. And they weren't even that good. I'll put in definitely with a higher power level there. Psycho Wilt again, yeah. That's the thing with a cycling card. You cycle them because you look for something, and then later you need that card and you cycle to not that anymore. Uh, okay, so they discard a seal away. I think what I want to do is attack first, and then play Thought Erasure. I'll go attack all up to Fairy. Yeah, yeah, I could have a very encounter trigger ability. And this is a legend, so it can't, can't copy this one. Cast out of my Sarah Angel. Okay, and then I'll play a Thought Erasure. I love, I love this command of Then it gonna be hard to resolve, of course, but... It'd be something. They shouldn't have attacked with this Yorin, it doesn't make much sense. If they don't attack with this Yorin, they can just safely cruise to a Teferi Emblem. See, Philly. Alright, um, 
I think I ran out of this discard spell. I think I've played the two of them that I have. So it's gonna be interesting now. If I just wanna jam this command to Dreadward. Or wait for like double threat turn. Oh wow, they tapped out. Oh my, they just played at Elspeth Congress. Look at that. Opponent isn't using their resource very well. Why are you doing this? Why are they doing this, chat? They want to make me win a game? Probably that. My graveyard there's just a solemn. In their graveyard there's actually not that much. I mean I put there a Teferi now, so that's something. The thing is that I can't re that that will get that that will get the wheel down. I'm just I'm just taking a life here and play these two. I'm just getting a life and take these two. Yeah. Oh, Oh, this allow kills us. That's true. Hmm. That's a good point. This allow kills us. I guess I have to like blink to fear in my turn. Sorry, kill to fear in my turn. Get a solemn out. Just get wheel. Alright, GG. Uh, good game. Put in parallel is pretty, it's pretty high. Yeah, it's definitely like kind of one of the few ways this deck can win, I guess. All right, and solid. Lots of early plays. I guess we're missing the late plays. Phase out. Uh, I believe phase out is like until the end of your turn or something like that. I don't know. I thought it was until the end of my opponent's turn, but apparently it isn't. I guess I should have read it better. I, I just didn't have any out at that point. Yeah, but if you phase in your opponent's turn, in your turn it will stay phase out. So I assumed it was like for a whole cycle, but I guess it is not. Hello, Lucy. Uh, I'll play Jubation Druid. Like, if you phase in your opponent's turn with a Teferi, in your turn, that creature will, will be out. It will be phased out. Okay. I'll, uh, what I want to do is... I kind of want to cycle this one, so I'll play Forest. I'll put this two... I'll put a Wolf Willow Haven on this one. And then with this one, I'll play Mindstone and then I'll play Thoughtseize. Nazis. We lost. Yeah, we lost. We lost. The opponent just beat us down with. Uh... Oh, wow, I'm doing version in Boros. That's something. Uh, am I taking just taking Tajik? Yeah, I'm taking Tajik. This Glory Bringer will be tough. So hopefully, hopefully we 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 find something before the Glory Bringer comes down. Okay, there's the castle. One just doesn't like to play this as a land, I guess. I respect it, Lucy. Allora, I need to tap. Un, due, tre, quattro. Okay. Yeah. I'll uh, just level this up. This one is toughness for more, actually. Oh, wow. So I don't really want to level this up. My opponent will kill it with the Valorous Stance. Okay, I guess we change age of plans. I don't want to I don't wanna adapt this. I'll begin by cycling the Zagatrium. And place home simulacrum. Getting uh, black source. Don't have that currently. 
AP option. There's so much misfield that they had in this deck. Glorybringer is coming though! Glorybringer is coming! Opponent with a very innocuous Boros deck. Which I love to see. Okay. Oh, El Bantu! That's a big boy. Uh, that's begin by attacking with a Solon. That's always a good start. Hmm. Bueno. Now, I'll play this Bantu. I want to sacrifice for sure Solon. Alternatively, aspetta un attimo che mi sa che c'è una mossa migliore. I'll play Glassbow Mimic first. I'll copy Simulacrum. I'll get a land. Then I'll play Bond 2. Adapt Druid? No, I don't want to adapt Druid. They have a Baller Stance to kill the Druid if I adapt it. Then I'll play Bond 2. Nice. And then I sacrifice. Wolf Willow Haven Forest. S Aspetta, Forest? Yeah, see, okay, okay. Simulacro, Simulacro. So right now I draw six cards. If I want to draw seven, just get a new hand, sacrificing the Mind Stone as well. Eventually I kind of have to sacrifice the Mind Stone, so might as well do it now. And Mind Stone. So I draw seven cards now. I draw seven cards. Actually, I might just sacrifice this Incubation Druid. Instead of the forest. So I sacrifice these. Uno. Quindi così faccio. 4, 2, 6. This is 6 cards. I kind of want to just draw 7. I kind of want to just draw 7. I love to draw 7 cards. Drawing 7 cards makes you feel special. I think I'll draw 7 cards. So. Bye. But there's a big difference between drawing 6 and drawing 7. Drawing 7 is like, you know, a time twister, a wheel of fortune, some, some effects like that. Drawing 6 is like, I don't know, is there any card to draw 6 cards? I don't know it. Uh, I can play Woodland Cemetery if I want to play this figure, but I don't think I do, so I'm just playing Scattered Groves and passing. I need to stack the stone. I know, Major, but I need, I need, I need you to draw 7. Memory Jar, exactly. Father of Stance gives my bond to Vabina. Come back. Come back. Don't worry. We have the combo. Bond to plus the fairy's tutelage. Watch out, Mr. Boris Control. The combo is happening, chat. Bond is here. We'll be playing to tutelage, and the next turn we'll be playing Bond to. And then we mill the whole deck. Madonna mia! It's happening! Hello. Let's begin with a uh, Teferi's tutelage. Oh, Mythos the Tutelage. <laughs> you guys want me to Mythos the Tutelage? I should, right? Or should I just play Palaka uh, Predation? I can just do that next turn, right? Because I have nine mana, so I can play Mythos and... Yeah, yeah, so I'll play Palaka Predation first. Let me tap in a way where I can cast this uh, Warrant Warden. We'll play Palaka Predation first. I'll discard Ember Clava. Oh, they have Devil's Play, attenzione. And then I'll pass the turn. Probably shouldn't have discarded Ember Clava, but whatever. This card is just a land. Attenzione, it's coming. The combo is coming. I had Warren, so I didn't need to discard Ember Clava. See? Results. See? I guess I'll play Warren. Why not? I love this card. Just Azur's Charm Sarah Angel, a right? too powerful card. Okay, this is a sorcery, huh? Okay, yeah, we have it. It's 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 all coming together. I don't know how many cards are while we're milling, but that's just a lot of cards. Like very many cards. This is just like you know a clip, a clip worthy play, I think. Allora, let's begin with Mythos of Iluna. 
On this Teferi Stutelage. <laughs> nice. Indeed nice. Opponent, don't you dare conceding. Opponent, don't you dare conceding, alright? Pam! <laughs> They said good game, I'm gonna repeat her good game and trigger, 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 trigger. Trigger, 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 trigger. <sighs> Discard three cards, okay. Alright, alright, that was a good shot. That was a good moment. Okay. Let's view the battlefield and let's take a look at their graveyard. It's like Big Boros. They don't really have any burn spell in their deck. Open cats. Double spray. Running Felipos! Thank you so much, Running Felipos! Welcome to the 8th month! 8th month sub! Woo woo! Alright, I'll play Gerber Break Alania just because it has the ability. I'll board a Commander Dreader just because it makes me lose life. It doo -doo 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 -doo. All right, everything else looks all right. Even the world looks all right. Yeah, let's go. Okay, opponent goes first. My hand is a keep. Let's go. Why not play a Rowing Crab? I don't think it's a good card. I guess control, I might sideboard it in. Oh lord, oh, let's go. Overgrown Tomb. Yeah, this is a per perfect soul tie. Flashing Inspiring Vantage. Would you draw first? Would you first draw a card like Exploring Cube? Eh? Alright, I'll play Fibulathup. I love Fibulathup. I love how strong it is. Draws a card. And he trades with a creature. That's exactly what two for one means. First speak, explore, yeah, totally. I first explored many a times. Ooh, opponent's shuffling it? Alright, let's draw it again. Let's draw it again. Fibula thup. Let's draw it again. Die. Unlucky Mangu. Alright, I'll play this Incubation Druid, and then I'll play Inspire Advantage. Living up Burn Spell. Leaning to ET. <laughs> Thank you so much for the subscription on a tier one sub. Welcome, welcome. Ooh, feather retreat. That looks like a treat. It looks like a treat, chat. Um, mm -mm, probably play this tapped and pass the tour. Ooh, doo, doo, doo. Shall I? Ooh, shall I lie? Okay. I'll cycle the scatter grooves and draw Nantra Terra, va bene. Draw land, va bene. I'll cycle. Aspetta un attimo. I need to live up five to do that. So I guess I'm just playing a land and passing my turn. I need to ev uh, evolve the uh, incubation druid. Tajik. Ay, ay, ay. Va bene, okay. I mean, I don't see a 5 3 here. Sorry, a 3-5 here, so how do you attack opponent? With all? Okay. I'll block this Tajik. I'll adapt. Pam, pam, pam. What's my life total? Six. Not that much. Not that mucho. What do I draw? Old Pharaoh's gift. Wrath of God. Unfortunately, Fibulathip. Has died. 
But Bullet Club has died, chat. Bullet Club has been shuffled in her deck. Allora, guarda, let's begin by cycling this Triome. Aspetta un attimo. I wanna just cycle it all. I guess let's begin by cycling this farmland. Shall we? Aspetta un attimo, how much mana do I have? 5, 6, 9. So I can't do both. Hmm. Alright, I'll uh, shuffle. Oh, sorry, I'll cycle first. This figure. Alright, not bad. Uh, then I'll play Wrath of God. Never. I never had five Exodia. Five, uh, five, um, five Triumphs, unfortunately. It was always my my dream to get all the all the four or five triumphs, but I only I only got to four ones, I think. Yeah, I didn't die. I wish I wish it got lost and didn't die, but I wish it got I wish it died and not get lost because we have God for us gift now. We one one incubation droid in our graveyard. They play Chandrina, Babine. Do you have any spell in your graveyard? You do not. I guess you have Devil's Play. Wait, we can't cast Devil's Play with this? Oh no, you can cast Devil's Play with this. That's cool. Alright, good four here. And I'll cycle this Triome in return. Oh, Warren Warden. And Broccoli Forest. I think I have to leave myself dead to a land here. To a land here, if they if they draw land, I lose. But I think I have to kill that Chandrina. And if I draw land, and if they draw land, I'll lose the game. See, because they just uh, uh, eternalized the uh, Shaker Kenra, but they missed the land drop earlier. So I'm hoping they don't draw it. Plus, I just died to a million other things. Yeah, like that Glory Bringer as well. All right, good game. Psh. If I want to change anything, no, I mean that looks that look pretty mediocre like this. I don't wanna, I don't wanna disrupt the mediocrity. The me mediocrity? Why do you say mediocre? Oh, let me go see. Mediocrity? 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 Mediocrita. In Italian, we don't have the the part of C. We just say mediocrity. Yeah, medio mediocrity. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Secret Keeper blocks. I don't love to block. I don't, I, don't, I don't love zero power creature in my deck. Yeah, like we drew the lands last game, so we had none left for this one. That's usually how, how it works. All right, you go first. Babine, that's a keep. I'll bottom this bond too because it's double black. It's, it looks pretty far away. The glory bringer of Kenra. I lose, yeah, because with Chandra they flash back uh, Devil's Play. Alright, keep. a bottom this bond too. Let's go. Mediocrité. Can't you cast Shock? No, I can't. You'd be like, how you can't? You have one spark advantage. Yeah, I'm literally two red sources only. Ooh, Zagotrium to complete the rainbow mana on turn two. Look at that. Sultai into Vantage. That's we're ready to cast any spell we want now. Mikius il Lunarca. I really don't care about killing a Mikius the Lunark. Which is going to play a Mind Stone in to search for Ascanta. Nikius the Lunark. Tap, you put a counter? Sure. We can then play this figure on that one. Was Leaves and Box you recommend for Paper Cube? Uh, zombie, uh, Slim, I am. A... Me and the whole Team CFB is uh, sponsored by uh, Ultimate Guard. And Ultimate Guard provides you a thing called uh, Archive 800 Plus, which is the one that I use for Cube. And I also use Katana Sleeves, again, sponsored by Ultimate Guard. I'm not just saying that because it's sponsored, it's also like very good. The, 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 bind, 
so many of my friends use the, the 800 plus to keep the cube. Hmm. All right, for sure, I'm going to disfigure something. I think I can't, oh, Caputan, I can't play both Euro One games and disfigures. Archive at 800 plus is cool. I can't play both. They don't have mana to do so. I'm just gonna play Solemn Simulacre. It's a classic Mango deck where you have a million lands and you can't cast two spells because of how awkward your mana base is. Like yesterday, in Cube, I had the same thing where I had like a million land and just one bad land, and I couldn't cast either. either I couldn't cast the two red or black cards in the same turn. And this is the same, like, you have four lands and you still couldn't cast two spells that cost three and one. <laughs> Despite having all the colors, because Zagatrai almost holding both colors. I really dislike those lands, like Concealed Courtyard and Sparring Vantage. Anyway, this is still a good block. I could give it first strike, sure. Oh, I'll block here. I really don't care about the Storm Simulacrum. I want to draw a card. How many cards have in my graveyard, too? Suppose I put a creature in the graveyard for God for Oa's gift. And eat them two mana. I could have tapped the Lunark. I decided not to. I would like to take the action. Ooh, Gravebreaker Lamia. That's a big, big card. A very large card. Oh, right, let's play the Lamia and let's pass it and the pass the turn. What do I put in the graveyard? This is important. What do I put in the graveyard? Did you use this figure earlier? I, I couldn't, right? I always tap my mana every turn. Oh, right. what do I put in the graveyard? I think I'll put in the graveyard, uh, I think I'll put in the graveyard, uh, where is it, um, Club Laser. A couple of ways to bring it back. Now this is a 4-4 lifeline, which is pretty big. Alright, let's see what I do with the Mikios. Mikios. Mickey Mikios. Remember, this figure plays around self as savior. Hopefully, I just put a counter on it. Put on each other creature you control. I want to just kill this Taishik now. Probably. Taishik is pretty good now. No, no, point, no. No, Lucy. No, come cazzo hai tappato, Lucy? I mean, did you, you just learned the hard way, Magic the Gathering. You just learned so much in the hard way. Indestructible doesn't protect you from... Oh, wow, I, I even got rewarded. I even got rewarded for putting the Cloud Blizzard in the graveyard. A big brain play from Mango Zeranova. You know, of course, like that was a mistake and whatever, but it could have had like, just a 2 2 dog, whatever. Now we just we just have like GPG with uh, Cloud Blazer in the graveyard. And I mean, it's just it. Like, that's it. I mean, I put in the graveyard the best thing to reanimate with, uh, with GPG. Exactly, now I'll go down for, for the salt in the wound. Maybe they have like a, a shock in their end of turn, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. In case, you, in case you're new chat, indestructible doesn't prevent you from minus two, minus two. So cards like this figure gives minus two, minus two. So if your power is, if your toughness is zero, indestructible doesn't save it, okay? If your toughness is zero, indestructible does not save it. That uh, yeah. Ooh, find the two payoffs for uh, putting this in the graveyard was found. Were found. 
a Gebek Lamia. I'll put in the graveyard another large creature. And if you're like, Mango, you don't have any large creature. Yeah, I do. Look at this God Eternal Bantu. Ebo also chat. No so, no so, no so. What's the point of putting a large creature on a field? It's because I want to bring it back with find. Exactly, copy Cloud Blazer later. I'll kill this giant killer because they have the Lunar to make it into a 2 3. Then I'll play Find. I'll bring back Last Pool Mimic and God Eternal Bond to. I'll play the Mimic. A Copy Cloud Blazer. Draw two cards. It's a 4 4 chat. I didn't know it was a 4 4. Oh wow, we can go to combo again! Nice, we can do the combo again next turn. We have the combo! They have 25 cards. How many cards do I need to draw? They go to 23, they go to 22. So I need to draw 12 cards. So I need to sacrifice 12 permanents. I'm not sure if I want to do that though. Okay, if they're tapped out, I will. I will. If they're tapped out, I will do sacrifice 12 permanents now. Thank you, Mr. Pichadoso. Oh, my kick ass, die. Alright, let's just play this. Play this. Play this. Thanks. 12 permanents we have to sacrifice, chat. Each use of internet. E uno. Due. Tre. Quattro, cinque, sei, sette, otto, nove, dieci, undici, dodici. Quindi sono? Uno, due, tre, quattro, cinque, sei, sette. Oh wow, with three cards in my deck. Yeah, that's like 12 or 11. Or 12, okay. Imagine if they have like Emmer cool now. And they shuffle their deck. Imagine if I just decked myself there. <sighs> Victoria, twice. With the same plan. I mean, this game would probably not need it, but it's more fun. Mm -hmm. Remember that I'm I'm a cat in my house, so I just only eat the food that I'm given. You know when the next SG event is? Uh, Heptagon. I do not. I don't follow it. But uh, my friend Upumpa89 does, and he streams that every 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 weekend. I'm pretty sure there's a a list if you find it. If you if you if you look for it, I know it's a pretty shitty answer, but that's maximum I can give it to you. You're welcome, Yorkie. Rueki. Okay, Paris Root cannot be killed by my Disfigure, so that's good. I'll play my own Elf here in the form of Incubation Druid. And now, sure, we have a Wrath of God. You didn't have necessarily to play that. Oh, wow. Vivian Arkbor Ranger. Planeswalkers are always very powerful. I'm going to cycle Wilt on the turn. Am I playing a Redless deck? Yeah, similar deck to yesterday, just a control deck with our red. Silvala Vabine. I'll cycle Wilt. 
With Command Dreadlord uh, maybe coming, that could save, the, save us. Not that we have that many creatures to reanimate, but... Ooh, Cold Blazer, that's a good draw. I don't have... I've got a double white for my Wrath of God. Let's see, they have two cards in Andor lead. They have lots of mana. They can cast probably Ulamog as well. And bam, attack for six. Raw Concealed Courtyard. I really hate this type of land. I guess I'll play Cloud Blazer here, hoping to find an untapped white sources. Mythos of Luna. I don't have double blue. <laughs> I run gains fine. Nothing fancy. Opponent will attack me for 8 this turn, and I don't have an answer to it. It'll be very difficult. Just very difficult it'll be. I can go Command the Dread or to reanimate Cloud Blazer, but that would just be a lot of mana. Sorry, a lot of life. That would be like, basically 3 life to play Cloud Blazer. I guess 5, because I also have to shock myself with this land. But yeah, just put counters, That's that seems better. This is Trample, because that's what Vegan does. Vegan's very good. One of those Planeswalkers that uh, really just dominates the board. Of course, you have to be mono green or similar to that. Yeah, I know Devil Reaper. I played a lot of Command the Dreadlord in Standard last year. Taking 8, down to 8. Hopefully to draw one of my removal spell. What is it? What is my removal spell? Raska, go Gary Queen. Uh, Warrant Warden. I got planes for Breath of God. Ooh, Hoover of Hydra, Ula Madonna. Alright, definitely, definitely, definitely need a planes now. Oh, that's also very good though. That's also very good though. I love Warrant Warden. Dai, allora, uh, let's. Play land tapped, so I can cast the thing next turn. I'm clear if I want to play um, Euro on games, but I think I will, because that way... Hello, oh, one second. Aspetta un attimo, this one gives two things trample, right? They get two things trample. Oh, yeah, yeah, Hydra's Reach. Yeah, yeah, I know that, Hydra's Reach. Thanks. Thanks for pointing it out, though. Am I just playing the Saga, just like that? I mean, I guess it's one less. I, I guess it could be the difference between winning and losing. It's a one one that I can, could prevent the life with. Is there an top white source? Probably not. I don't know. All right. It would be a pretty bad loss because the opponent hasn't done anything this game. They've played like a Vivian and like random creatures. But that's, I guess, good enough to beat Mangu. What's the best archetype in the cube? My favorite are like blue green. Uh, my favorite are the blue green ramp deck. Okay, this thing gets indestructible if you reanimate a human. Oh, thank God, it's an elf scout. Oh, I'm dead on board. What am I? What am I thanking God for? I'm just literally dead on board. Good game. I had a warrant, but opponent uh, played a land, so it just became an 8. You think that random creature is pretty good? Yeah, I mean, yeah, it is, it is. If I had a planes, it would have been better, but... Okay, uh, uh boop, I mean, let's just go with this. You've never, you've never played blue-green yet? Wow, that's... This, this type of decks are usually what I draft, kind of like... Lands mess with Field of the Dead, which I don't have this time around, but usually this green pile are are what I enjoy doing the most. Green does everything indeed. And I'm not saying that this is the best way to win, you don't have to necessarily win when you play cube. You want Lamia? I don't think so. You have to have fun then. You have to understand it. what's your best way to have fun. Sometimes Winning is fun. Playing Mono Red is probably strong. Playing Boros and Mono Red is probably the, the strongest play if you want to just make gold. I sometimes do that. 
I've had, uh, I think that, I think I drafted the uh, Monterey slash Boris three or four times and always, I think I, I lost like very, very little, like maybe one match overall with like the two or three drafts that I did. Basically, tomorrow, for those of you who missed it, I'll be drafting Magic Online Cube. Welcome everyone to a new Legacy. And uh, that will also be very fun. We got a raid from Hole 19. Thank you, thank you. Welcome, Hole 19. What did you play so far? Did you also play Cube or something different? It's been overwhelming. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah, Cube has a lot of. You need to know a lot about magic. If it might help, there's uh oh caputana. Wow, this is a classic mango and we have Jeskai lands and the Golgari spell. Alright, this is better. Mono black is so jank. <laughs> this is similar to have four colors but blue and three spells of blue. Allora, uh do I wanna keep the fairy village? Probably not. I really hate to fairy steal her. Uh, look, play not to try on turn one. On turn two, I'll probably cycle world. Core reality? Yeah, it's, it's in Cuba as well. Wow, Risirredento. Okay. I'll play a Druid. Still, Druid doesn't give you blue mana if you don't have any blue land. But he can give you double blue if I draw blue land. Wilt out? I don't know, we can cycle world. If you flip a scout of blue mana, yeah. Ooh, he's inherited. I think I, there was a window for me to pick up this Elise and Carrot. I chose not to. Probably that was a mistake. Alright, I could play Vraska and just take it up. Not sacrifice anything. Vraska is so bad. No, Questing Beast! Ma come quest in beast? Ma dai! Gee, I hate planeswalkers. Oh, 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 attenzione, 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 ah, ah, attenzione, attenzione. Did I say attenzione already? Attenzione. I drew probably the only good card that I could have drawn there. Literally the only good card I could have drawn. I still missed the land drop, which is pretty bad in my 19 land deck, but. We're in a reasonable shape now. We are in a reasonable shape now. See, si, pero putana Eva, can I draw my lands? I'd cycle this world. Oh. And I'll kill this mammoth. Goodbye, Braska. Thanks for doing uh Enough. Enough. It it did it did enough. Vraska Golgari Queen was a card, it replaced itself and killed a creature. It played a much better planeswalker now. It's called Even Arbor Ranger. You plus you play limited. I play a lot of limited, yeah. I don't know, I just stream every day, so you can just get all the formats, right? I play standard historic limited, yeah. I try to like split my for my, my, my streaming too. Usually it's like alpha constructed alpha alf stand alpha limited. My end goal is every season is to get double mythic, although it's uh, sometimes it's it's hard to get it there in limited. All right, I played a I played a Mirari's Wake. Jeez, Jeez. All right, that's on six. Alua, we can go command the Dreadword and get a QB. All right, all right Alua, let's play command the Dreadword. Cuatro, ocho. That's 8 damage already, okay? What else do I want to get? How much? How much, how much damage do I want to get here? Hopefully my opponent doesn't, doesn't finale me and I lose. Ram question for sure. I was just thinking about what else. I just want to take a lot of damage. Actually, you know what? This, I don't want this Vraska, Madonna. Mia. Vraska is so bad. Alright. 4, 7, 9. Yeah, let's just do this. 9. Yeah, I don't want Braska. Or maybe should I get Braska? Yeah, okay. 13. I go to 4 life. 4 life! Bueno. Now, I am um, killing uh, Vivian. And then I'll uh, sacrifice probably one of my lands. 
Imagine being in mana screw and now all of a sudden just super mana flooded. I'll sacrifice this island. Draw a card, gain a life. Grace is good. Grace is good with Chippy G. <laughs> Alright, three mana Kogla. That's an 8 7. What'd you fight with? Kazundu Mammoth. Vabine. Pam. Okay. And the great danger. Oh, my God, no. A lot of expensive cards you got there. Ah, te, tio, ne. All right, got Bond to two. Bond to two. Hello, let's. Play this Feeble of first. Because, you know, you always gotta need a Feeble of for that, right? Isn't Chalmers crazy? It's fine. It's, I, I, I really don't like it. I just hate cards that come into play and do nothing. This is my personal, uh, my personal hatred towards cars like this, which, you know, it can't just be a personal thing. Wilt, I've, I cycled it. I cycled Wilt a long time ago. Long time ago. Bond is overlooked. Hole 19, did you see that we comboed Bond 2 plus Teferi's Tutelage earlier? I believe I mulliganed the Scratch Teferi's Tutelage on the bottom, though. Echo Lali! Echo Lali, we found the combo! How much mana do I have? Oh, I'm missing one mana! I'm missing one mana for the combo. I'm missing one mana for the combo. Oh, this doesn't get trampled. I'm not gonna play this because if Kogla attacks, it destroys an enchantment. But right, let's begin by sacrificing this Fibulet up. Sacrifice the land. Yeah, but it was the top land. Oh, before you mean? Yeah, well, it doesn't matter. Okay, wow, Warrant. Nice. Hello, uh, let's play Forest. I definitely have to warrant that Kogla. I'll hold this till my end. Um, I need double white and I do have that. I'm just playing the search for a cant. If they want to kill it, that's fine with me. You have eight mana. Do it. No, I have seven, chat. E basta così. I guess I'm attacking quest in this. So I need it. And I'm passing. Pum. Search will transform or not? It depends if they kill it with Kogla. Rare Wake. Red is two mana. Yeah, I know. Chat, yeah, this is. It's easy. I have three mana untapped and I played a two drop. So I have five plus two, seven. Anyway, Kogla is attacking. It's killing my search. Resolve. I'm just blocking with Questing Beast here. I don't need to uh, warrant this one. I'll just trade. I'm winning the game in other way. I need like, I need 12 permanents though. Let's see what they have in end. Hmm, va bene. Uh, they have one card. So I need to sacrifice 13 permanents. I'm pretty sure I have 13 permanents, right? Actually, I should have 12. <laughs> I have 12 permanents. Right, I have 12. I pet the not. Well, no, 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 I can do it. Because then I can draw a card with Vraska and mill two cards. Oh no no, I just draw actually you wait, wait a sec. I'm just milling the cards with this too. So I think I only need 12 permanents. If they destroy tutelage in response, oh yeah, I will lose. That's fine. So now I need to sacrifice 12 permanents. I mean I'm just doing it. Do I need to do other stuff, break combat? Yeah, I guess I'll just... Whatever, sacrifice this Solemn Simulacrum first. And mill them for four. Can I play first their Rowan games? No. Wow, Reclamation Sage. Take the action. There shouldn't be a gas blasting in the cube, so we should be good to go here. I'll play this bond two, and then I'll sacrifice eight lands plus two. It's yeah, should be enough. This is standness, so I mill them for twenty. I draw ten cards. <gasps> no, I do. Ah oh, no, spetta. But uh, there was a seven number because it already saw that I was going to draw seven, but it actually had seventeen cards. For a second, I was like, how do I have seven cards in my deck? I was just so afraid for a sec, because the Arena client put the seven number on my deck before. Earlier, I almost died. 
Because I didn't count that. I had three cards left after drawing 10 with Bantu. I, I feel like I've do I won every single game with this combo. <laughs> Actually, that's true. Every game so far that I won has been won with this this combo. Because I lost the first match 0-2. I was going to win on mail again, but I they had approached the second sun in the last four cards, so they got me. And then I, I won round two by double combo, and then I won game one with this with combo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Uh, look, I'm going to play like a mid-range deck. Like, very much a mid-range deck. Yeah, that's okay. I'll just live with that. I don't I don't love any of the cards in my sideboard. Look at a opponent deck? Yeah, I didn't, I didn't think about doing it. That's fine. I don't care. All right, Solta is online. We got our Vresca Golgari Queen. Which wasn't that good, but... Oh wow, this is the game where I thought it was like super dead, and then I drew the Wrath of God. Imagine opponent lost to a Wrath of God, and this deck is just like, I don't know. <laughs> Very few white sources, I guess. Okay, Command the Dreadlord is around. Opponent, please don't play Questing Beast. Please be nice, don't play Questing Beast. It's Pioneer Inverter of Truth? Yeah, we could play this deck in the... <laughs> in Historic, right? Okay, I think I'm going to play Palaka Predation. I'm so afraid of my opponent. Oh wow, that's a great draw. <laughs> that's a great draw, bravo Mangu, my bravo big po. Actually, though, they had four mana last turn and didn't do anything. Nah. Should I just go Vraska kill this? No, I'm so afraid of uh, a five drop there. They could have a five drop now. Now, you found it, what you got? It's a very heavy end. One of those hands that you look at it and be like, Pesant. And I'm pretty sure I can't literally beat any of these cards. You can be like, Mango, come on, you you can beat something. No, I can't. Can't. Can't beat any of these cards. Dang it. Let's take Hoglock, because at least I can reanimate it with uh, Commander Dreadord. Very heavy end. Now they can go Mirari's Way Go. The next turn they can go the Great Hand Reclamation Sage. So we'll see how it goes. I can steal it, kill a creature, and then attack, and, and kill the Henge, and then kill the Mirage Wick. That's the end game, but it's a very, very long plan. I do like to make some long plans, but that's a very long plan. You know one of those long, long... ...plans. Alright, I'll play Vraska, tick it up. Sacrifice nothing, pass the turn. Decline. No attack. Can you sacrifice Vraska to itself? Oh no, another, okay. Uwe van Hydra. 3 mana, 7-7, seven, seven, pick up a land, tutto quanto. And then Great Hand for 2 mana. Good planeswalker. I mean, th this this arena cube is uh, the name of the arena cube is literally just bad planeswalker. That's just exactly how they designed it. They want to play only bad planeswalker. We can kill the vizier of menagerie. Le vizier de la menagerie. I'll, be in it. Uh, I'll add a mana. I'll sacrifice the incubation druid. Then I'll play Commander Dreadword. Reanimate. Say, Otto. Dieci. I go to 11. Kogla kills the Vizier de la Menagerie. And then I pass. 
An average turn for the opponent. It definitely is. Mary's Wake, you know, has never made... Oh! You drew Verdure's gear, Oak. Oh, come on, yeah. Hmm. Nabine. That's a very large Uzbo Von Hydra, but doesn't have Trample, so it can just be chum blocked. Right, who knows who has Trample? Verdure's gear, Oak. This has Trample. Risi Redento. Hmm. You draw a card. Kazandu Mamet, you draw a card. Next turn, I can kill that great hand with Kogla, finally. I'll uh, chum block with... Uh, or, well, uh, incubation Droid, I guess. Pam. You can kill Gearok instead, with what? How can I kill Gear Oak? Allora. What's my plan? Hold that trigger. Oh, because it's an artifact. Ah, I understand. Chat, thank you very much, chat. I didn't think about it. That's a very good suggestion. Very good suggestion, indeed. Okay, so let's begin with... Uh, pa -pa -pa, with Fibula Thop the Lost. Oh! Attenzione! Attenzione! Mythos of Iluna! Madonna mia! Allora! I can copy so many things! I can copy the Great Ange? No. Aspetta un attimo. Copy the Great Ange, play Mimic, attack, kill the Virgil's Gear Oak. You guys wanna copy the Virgil's Gear Oak? Ma si da, let's do it. Doppio rosso. I can't. I can't copy and fight. My mana's weird. I guess I have a middle land drop. I could top deck a land. Guarda, let's sacrifice a land first. And see what I flip. What I draw. Merda, di merda, porca boia! I, I also have the rope here that's hurting me. Okay, then I'll just play. I'll just mimic the Kogla. I'll spend that. Let's talk this first. I'll mythos the Virgil's Gear Oak. I'm just hoping they top the Kalan there, okay, chat? I'll mythos the Virgil's Gear Oak. Pump my team, and next turn I'll try to just win with the emblem. What's that? Pump with Kogla? What do you mean? What do I want to kill here? I'll kill the Mammoth. Okay, so if my opponent draws a land here, we're able to emblem Vraska and win the game. But they have to draw land. They drew part as Druid. Pump Kogla. I'm going to kill Pump Kogla. Okay, they go to combat. I can go Mimic on the Verdru's Gear Oak next turn, put counters, and then it's a trampling thing. My plan is to win with the, uh, Vraska, chat. Could have saved Vraska? No, I don't have any human. I don't have a human. I have a new moon colossus, a plant, and a construct. This game is super, super, super difficult, but I think if I'm putting attacks here, they're dead on board. If I'm putting attacks with a Hydra. It's definitely not easy to see, but it could happen. My plan in this game was to win with Vraska and the. Wow, they don't attack? Ah, come on, do not attack opponent. That was an easy attack. And because I put two counters at random here, this is not lethal anymore. Hello, I want, but let's begin by cycling this land. Uh, what do I want to do with this Vraska? I could kill a creature, like a Riss. Or I could just emblem. 
I could mimic the Verger's Gear Oak and four counters on the old one. Attack for 10. Opponent has to block with his Uba Van Dydra. I just needed one more counter on this and I would have won the game. Instead, I put them all on this random sealed and carried Really random. Oh, I forgot to emblem. Mava fanculo, I forgot to emblem, chat. Porca puttana, why did I forget to emblem here? I mean, I guess at this point I'm not going to emblem. I'm going to kill the wrist. Thank you, Daggerock. Thank you so much for the fourth month. Welcome, welcome. Fine, I'll pass the turn here. They have a card in hand. They drew Return of the Wild Speaker. They draw 11. And they emblemed, they would have drawn 4 instead of 11. Mm. Ronas gives this Trample. They have 6 cards in the deck though. They could have also just give plus 11 plus 11. No, plus 3 minus 3. Okay, plus 3 plus 3. It wasn't enough. Pump the Uba Van Hydra. I should have pumped Coglin instead of the carrot. Yeah, no, I don't know if you saw it, but the, the rope was around here and had no more time bank left. I was definitely pressured with that play. But this is 15. I block like this, I take 12. So I have to block like this and like this. Cinque, when you're going for the H. All right, I have to go all in on this. Yeah, I'll block with all of this. Thank you, Magneto Head. Thank you for the second month. Thank you so much. And now I have to hope I can draw Teferi's Tutelage and maybe I can mill them. Can pump three times? Uh, no, Rodas. Oh. Oh, they fight that. Yeah, this is a lethal. All right, good game, opponent. All right. Good game. Psh, 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 psh. Good game, good game. This 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 draft has been super fun. We got we got to win every every match that we won was with the combo with the Ferris Tutelage Bond too. So it was emblem as a right play. So considering that last turn I should have put counters not on the carry I did, because that was just, you know, playing fast. The, 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 the pressure of the rope is definitely a thing. And the, this turn, yeah, should have emblem first and attack, so they were forced to trade. You know, they were in top deck mode, so they drew a turn of the wild speaker, which is, which is okay. I mean, totally fine to lose these games. All right. 